at Minds and Money London, and I'm with Daniel Major, the CEO of GaviX Uranium. Daniel, thank you for joining us. Oh, thanks for inviting me. Now, tell us about your uranium projects in Africa. Yeah, uh, as you say, they're all in Africa. Mm -hmm. um, there's one in Niger, mm -hmm. Zambia and Mali. Uh, the interesting thing about our projects is two of them are already permitted. Okay. So, big mineral resources on all of them. Two of them have gone all the way through to mine permitting, environmental permitting is done. Mm -hmm. Focus for us is really getting the first one away, which is in Niger. Mm -hmm. We see an improving uranium price, so mm -hmm. we're working on getting that first project financed, ready to build. Okay, and what type of numbers are, uh, can you tell us around the project? Yeah, so you're looking at Niger, it's mm -hmm. about 120 million pounds of uranium in the ground resource. Mm -hmm. It's got a cash cost of about $25 a pound, $360 million capital. It'll run for 21 years, producing about three million pounds per annum. Right. Uh, we're working on reducing both the capital and the OPEX figures as part of our optimization. Mm -hmm. If you look at Zambia, it's about 60 million pounds. It's going to be producing about two and a half million pounds a year for 11 years. Yeah. Cash cost there is about $31 a pound with a capital cost of uh, 120, so very much low capital. Mm -hmm. Same volume as Niger, mm -hmm. but a lower OPEX. Uh, Mali is about 30 million pounds at okay. the moment. So, Daniel, what are the advantages to mining uranium in Africa as opposed to, say, Canada, Russia, wherever? Yeah, I mean, we obviously have focused on Africa because we like it. One is you can get things done. I mean, we got our project uh, fully permitted in Niger in six months. Okay. Now, you, you know, being a Canadian, you'll appreciate that yes. it takes a lot longer in Canada to, to get it permitted. And, yeah. you know, Kigavik, which is one of Areva's mines, we're going 15 years on permitting so yeah. far. So it takes a long time. And why? Because the governments are pragmatic. When 60% of your exports in Niger is uranium every year, and a big chunk of your net GDP is uranium, they want more uranium production to come out, and they certainly want uranium mine to replace the ones that are going to be closing. So, you know, that's one of the key reasons. We've, we're in pretty stable environments. Uh, Niger, the mining code really hasn't changed since 2006. Um, we're surround, we have infrastructure, power, water, but we've got a mining culture that's been mining uranium for 50 years. Okay. They kind of get it. Mm -hmm. Now, you're obviously betting on, you're obviously bullish on uranium. Prices have been in the doldrums for the past um, five years yep. or so. Why are you so, so bullish on, on uranium? Uh, why? I, you know, I get asked this question often, which is, yeah. it, is it different this time? And yeah. I think, yes, it is. You know, you've got nuclear demand back where it was pre-Fukushima. You've got the fastest rate of reactor builds going on. <clears throat> you've had a decline in secondary sales, but more importantly, you've got an industry that's now in a primary production deficit, driven by value, not volume from Kazakhstan, mm -hmm. and more importantly, Cameco, cutting production as primary production asset, and basically saying, look, it's cheaper for us to buy metal in the market, and we will do so, hence holding the market in a big deficit, reducing inventories until we can get the metal price back where we need it. And you know, they've intimated it's somewhere around the $50 mark. They want to see contract prices again for themselves. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you've got two of your major players actively knowing that they have to get a better metal price for the market for it to survive and keep feeding their customers, then that's a pretty good bet. Yeah, yeah. Well, finally, Daniel, where can investors go to learn more about GaviX? Our, our website would be a really good place. Mm -hmm. uh, govx.com. Okay, and you're you're traded on. Yeah, the, we're trading uh, on the TSXV the TSX under the ticker GXU. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also on the OTCQB um, GVXXF. Okay. So All and right. we trade a lot in both. Perfect. Well, make sure to look those up. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Appreciate Pleasure. it. Pleasure.